someone tell me right now in the comments below if I was not the only one to look on Google about a real napping competition? To find out, if you haven't looked yet, it is an actual real competition. I was like, what the f y Yeah, so I, I would never would have known that there was ever such a thing called napping competitions, like a freaking sport. So, you learn something new every day in an anime, especially Chuni. So, really weird. You find out that reality is kind of weirder than anime at times. But let's get on to the actual anime review. This episode, once again, was another filler episode. It really was. There wasn't much actual plot. There was character development, yes, with our favorite, fe one of our favorite female characters, Kumin. And I really like her character. She's always been a very adorable character. She's rather useless in the series, yes, but she's a really adorable character that I just really enjoy as, I guess, kind of as the mascot of the, this entire series. She really is. And honestly, I like the way the episode focused around her. We get to see her powers of sleeping. And you you gotta love that chuny power versus freaking napping power when when they fell asleep we get to see the entire dream sequence with freaking kumi just slapping her staff on the ground and it just that that fight was freaking awesome really good animation as usual from kyo on in this episode really beautiful and adorable animation we got a couple flashbacks that really goes to show you what kind of animation they really used in the first season you can actually kind of see the difference in quality the voice actors, once again, were very enjoyable. And I want to point out, I guess, the obvious, but I don't know if anyone else noticed it. But anyone else not noticed that newbie Tawny, Maury Summers, was changing outfits constantly this episode. I mean, she was almost in a new episode every different scene. It really... That's exactly what I saw. I think one time she was in, like, a freaking Air, Air Fiesta suit. She had one time she was in a freaking bunny suit. One time she was in a freaking Alice in Wonderland costume. I mean, what I'm getting at is, like, her costumes are changing randomly. I'm going to take a quick guess. We all can know why her probably outfit's changing. It's because of Dekamori. But it's really crazy getting to see her animated in different costumes constantly. And it really adds a different feel to the series. I mean, this may become a running gag later on in Season 2. Now, from what I can see so far, what is my assessment of Season 2 of Chuni so far? Honestly, I really enjoy the series. I'm having a lot of enjoyment from it. There has been actually a couple episodes right at the beginning of the uh, second season with some really decent romance. And these past couple episodes really haven't progressed beyond that. A lot of people were really raging from last episode because it completely the entire episode was pointless, which I can see in the fact, but I did enjoy it for what it stood out for. I'm really enjoying these filler aspect episodes, but yeah, I do agree. I do want to see the plot go in the right direction, and I do want to see actually some finally some romance between Rika and Yuta. And speaking of romance, once again we get to see Sophia in this episode, and I noticed a couple things in the past couple episodes, she really hasn't played a major role in this series. Has anyone else not noticed that? I mean, she really hasn't done much of any importance at all, besides we get to see Jelly Rika moments where she gets all upset, like, and scrunches up her nose, a kawaii moe, freaking awesome looking freaking face, oh, it's adorable. So, really, Sophia right now at the moment, I just don't really see her as a really good rival to Rika. But, she is an adorable character, especially with the nose rubbing with freaking Yuta. So, honestly, what is my assessment of this episode? I feel like it's a good episode for people that really enjoy Kumin's character. If you really like her character, and you want to see the club's, like, antics about what they do in their club, I guess this is the episode for you. But if you actually want to see a straightforward with the plot going on track, then I guess a lot of people will hate this episode. And I know for a fact probably quite a bit will, but I still enjoy Chuni for what it is. I mean, this is Kyo on for Pete's sake. They freaking make filler episodes constantly in their anime, so I mean, we gotta come to terms with this. But hopefully they they might switch over into the next episode finally going straight into the real plot because I don't want to see these episodic episodes up until like probably the last two or three episodes of the season because then it'll just say right down right there that Kill On is trying to cash grab for another season. That's literally what I'm starting to see with the way they're going with these episodic episodes which would make me very upset because of I don't want to see an entire cash grab of them trying to gun for a season three because I would piss off a lot of fans if we have to wait another freaking like eight months to a year just to see the next season and and that would make me so mad to barely see any progression at all with the characters. So, all in all, like this episode. Go watch it if you haven't gone seen it. And most likely, you'll probably hate it if you don't like filler episodes. Y'all wonderful day or not, wherever you live, please stay safe. Chibi out.